joining us uh, this afternoon for this uh, press statement. My name is Wambo Inyoto. I'm the Commission Vice Chair. Um, I have the pleasure of introducing my colleague, uh, starting with Commissioner Fala, Commissioner <coughs> Engineer Okundi. His Commissioner Honorable Abdulaziz Fara, sorry for that. <laughs> uh, Commissioner Honorable Engineer uh, Okundi. Uh, on the far left, we have our CEO, Mr. Harrison Kariuki. Uh, we also have Commissioner Honorable Dorcas Kedogo. And lastly, uh, our chairman, whom I'm now handing over to, Reverend Dr. Samuel Kobia. Okay. Karibuni. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Vice Chair. Uh, good afternoon, members of the Fourth Estate, and uh, we are pleased to welcome you uh, to this uh, press briefing. Um, we have a, a press statement that uh, I'm going to read uh, to you, and then uh, uh, we uh, will have uh, any questions that you, you might have. Uh, first of all, we wanted to say that uh, <coughs> we, we as the, uh, the commission uh, that is mandated to deal with the matters uh, of uh, uh, cohesion, of peace, and unity, and integration, uh, we have been uh, uh, greatly concerned about uh, some development uh, in the country, political and social, uh, that uh, we felt needed to be uh, addressed uh, because uh, if uh, uh, action is not taken to uh, arrest some of these, uh, they could easily uh, lead this country into, into, into serious uh, social uh, strife. And therefore, uh, uh, with this statement, uh, that's what uh, we wanted to, uh, to, 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 to do uh, by uh, addressing Kenyans uh, through you. And we want to thank you for uh, being available to uh, communicate uh, this message to Kenyans. Uh, over the last uh, few months, there has been an uptick in hateful statements and actions by various players uh, in our country. The National Cohesion and Integration Commission would like to highlight some of these issues <coughs> to the public and update Kenyans uh, on what actions the NCIC is taking. This is in, in line with our mandate of ensuring the cohesive and the peaceful coexistence uh, among Kenyans. <coughs> we must remember that there is more that uh, brings us as Kenyans uh, together than that which divides us, and uh, we cannot let a few of in our numbers ruin the dreams and the hopes of the many. Some of the worrying trends that we would like to highlight are, one, the threat for secession by some political actors if their demands are not met. We have been dismayed to uh, hear that some uh, political actors uh, are calling for secession of part of the country. And we know that uh, since this is a matter that uh, could uh, lead to the disintegration of the country, would therefore want, first of all, to say that uh, the Constitution of Kenya uh, is very clear when it states that, and I quote, we the people of Kenya are proud of our ethnic, cultural, and religious diversity and are determined to live in peace and unity as one indivisible, indivisible sovereign nation. We are determined to live as one indivisible sovereign nation. 
We expect all leaders to be committed to and adhere to this constitution provision. We also know that uh, the two main political coalitions, ASMIO and the Kenya Kwanzaa, they ev even in their own names, they talk of one Kenya. And that is what uh, we wanted to remind uh, political parties as well. In as much as uh, those who are stating this are, are aggrieved, cessation is not the way to go. Instead, we urge them to seek out dialogue cannot and it must not be an option to be considered. Because uh, we know uh, countries where there have been any attempt to secede, it takes decades for them to recover, if at all. And that is why we put this as a top among the concerns that we have. Secondly, is that Kenyans are longing for opportunities to come together, to exchange ideas on the prevailing issues and the challenges, and they contribute to possible solutions. The mandate of the bipartisan talks is very specific and it's not really that broad to accommodate the concerns that Kenyans have. It is for that reason that the NCIC will seek to provide the spaces and the platforms for national conversations on economic prosperity, political stability, and the social cohesion. We have been approached by many Kenyans wanting to know uh, if we are going to make, make it possible by broadening the spaces on which Kenyans can come together and uh, say, you know, what we say, let us come and reason together so that there, is, there are more Kenyans than the political leadership. The political uh, class has its own way of dealing with issues, and their way is this bipartisan, which we support fully, but which we say is not broad enough, and that is why there is a need for uh, uh, national uh, conversations. Now, the second area of concern that we have is on ethnic profiling of civil servants. It is very worrying to us that some leaders are resisting public servants, especially teachers from other community, ethnic communities from being deployed in their regions. This is not only a threat to cohesion, but is also archaic. It is unconstitutional and it is crass. The Constitution allows the Kenyans to live, to work, and to do business in any part of this country. And to do it in the way they do it within the law and at any time. We therefore condemn those actions uh, in the strongest terms uh, that have said that uh, non locals should not be allowed, including and especially teachers. We uh, have already begun the legal process to handle those cases who, uh, of those who are perpetrating such ideas. The Commission is also aware of claims of an imbalanced appointments uh, in the public service. The Commission is in the process of conducting an ethnic audit to ensure ethnic balance in the public service in the national as well as in the county governments. This ethnic audit is underway. We had already started it because uh, we want to make sure that now the new county government in their establishment 
do uh, adhere or uh, comply with the Constitution. Where Section 7.1 will guide us as a commission and also the NCI Act 2008, which states that all state-owned firms shall seek to represent the diversity of the people of Kenya in the employment of staff, and no public institution shall have more than one-third of its staff from one same, same community. So this is another area that uh, we are concerned with, and as we have said, we are going to do this uh, ethnic audit, and uh, in a few months' time, we should be able to come up with our findings. The third area is that we have uh, noticed there is re-emergence of uh, organized criminal gangs. As a commission, we are concerned with the re-emergence of the trend <coughs> and uh, the proliferation of organized criminal gangs, which were banned, as we know, in 2010 and 2016. This threatens the public who live in fear of attacks, loss of life, and business disruption. Such guns are created, uh, such guns also create a reputational and a brand risk to the nation's international image. In the run-up in the run-up to the elections uh, 2022, the NCIC carried out uh, a hot sports uh, mapping. And we came up with uh, the, uh, uh, the findings that uh, there were criminal gangs who were preparing to offer their service, that is uh, violence, to politicians and we named them, and the action was taken against them, and many of them therefore went underground. But now they are re-emerging. Now we are calling upon the security stakeholders to contain the situation to avoid resurgence of these outlawed organized criminal gangs. We are also aware that the menace of organized criminal gangs is uh, turning out to be a crime industry with a significant interaction with the political class. We therefore put politicians who use such guns on notice that uh, we are investigating and uh, we will come up with action against them. The next area of concern is religious extremism and political intolerance. The commission is concerned about the emerging cultic trends in religious circles. Both religious and violent extremist movements have similar push and pull factors at the individual level that must be addressed urgently as they negatively affect our society and threaten our way of life. Following the regrettable Shakahola tragedy, the Commission is in full support of His Excellency President William Ruto in the formation of a task force which is mandated to identify gaps and the proposed legal and governance changes to prevent religious extremism. We know that uh, when religious extremism becomes a cult, then a shakahola happens. And we want to say, as NCIC, we agree with those who say that uh, there are many other shakaholas in the country. It's only a matter of degree. And these should be identified 
at the nip in the bud. Because if it doesn't happen, then what is going to happen is that many of uh, uh, very innocent Kenyans who are looking for spiritual uh, nourishment can easily be lured, ending in loss of life. Based on the issues raised above, the commission is uh, investigating six cases who have been summoned, uh, such people. Two of them have appeared and he uttered some weeks back. The commission is also going to deal with the three who have not responded to our summons. And we wanted to warn them <clears throat> that we are going to invoke NCI Act Section 13 2, which empowers the commission to seek arrest. So those that have not honored our uh, summons, we are going to seek uh, warrant of arrest. Now, we want to do that also because we know it will serve as a deterrent. It is not, we cannot sit back as NCIC and begin to see something that had already been diminished almost in the run up to the elections. When we came up with a wall of shame and began to shame politicians who were involved in hate speech, the hate speech, especially at physical platforms, almost disappeared in the run up to the elections. But now, we are beginning to hear them, especially when it comes to uh, opposing the stationing of uh, teachers from other communities to their communities, and also in doing business. We therefore want to warn those that uh, have even migrated into the social media, because this is where now hate speech is uh, being uh, done, uh, but we are also now in a position to follow them there, and in fact, sometimes we have even pulled down some of the uh, uh, hateful utterances from the platforms. The other one that uh, we are going to follow very closely is the uh, uh, FM radios, uh, that uh, are in vernacular. This is another area where uh, hate speech is, uh, is continuing, but we have now put in place uh, measures to ensure that uh, we are able to follow on a daily basis even those FM radios uh, where vernacular is used and therefore we want really to work with the other agencies to ensure that these hate mongers will have no place to run to. So this is uh, the uh, statement we wanted to issue. And because we know <coughs> that uh, very often there are those of you who want, would like to uh, get it summarized in Kiswahili, uh, I'm going to give uh, uh, Commissioner Honorable Dokas Kedogo, a 